What's up guys, Matt and Tom from the Fumble Boots team and today what we have for you guys is our latest blackout test review to see if you guys are good enough to spot what the unreleased boots are, are on Tommy's feet. He's doing kippy uppies now with them. He's saying they feel amazing, but can you guess what they actually are? So that's what the first part of the video is, to see how good your boot spotting is. And the second part is how they actually perform. So we'll be testing out the fit, feel and performance. So if you are interested in the boots, then stay tuned for the entire video, but let's get straight into it. So looking at these boots, I think the main feature for me has to be the upper. Now on the front part of the boot, all around the toe box and slightly onto the side panels, we've got a leather material. Now to me, it feels very thin and very lightweight, very modern type of leather. It doesn't feel the most premium like on a Mizuno boot. It's not very thick or plush, but in terms of being modern, it definitely is. And you can also see that nice wrinkling effect, which is something we always look for with leather football boots. So in terms of what kind of quality this is, I think it is still pretty high. We've already mentioned that this football boot features a really nice top elite level K leather upper, but that's only really half the job because it's only around the toe box and slight mid panels because around the back of the boot, we've got a synthetic material. Now around this hill cup, it's not synthetic like on the Vapor 11 or X17.1. This brand have actually used a knitting material. And for me, that's a really nice touch and something which I haven't really seen done before, leather combined with knit. So we've already spoken about that leather upper, but there's also something happening internally, which we haven't actually covered yet. And that is the internal skeleton. Now it does remind me of some boots that were released last season, but it is slightly alternative. This time it almost feels like a rib texture. It's not the thickest, it's not very prominent. I don't think it's there to add much cushioning effects on the football, but in terms of just helping that leather structure a little bit better to keep its stability, I think it definitely does that. So one of the nicest features of these boots has to be the internal heel lining. Now something like this, it usually goes a little bit unnoticed, but what this brand have done on the heel liner has taken it to an all new level. It looks and feels amazing. What we've got are some pads which are very cushioned and lining it is a suede material. Now suede heel liners for me are my absolute favorite. Very soft, but they also give a nice bit of grip against the sock. But what this brand have done, they've also given it some very cushioned pads. So we actually have these on feet. You feel very, very snug. Football boot construction is changing dramatically with every new model, every new silo. We are seeing brand new materials and combinations. Now we've already touched on, we've got leather and a knitting material, but another part of this boot, which is actually a completely different type of material, is the tongue region. Now this time it's again a knitting material, but very, very compressive. Around the heel cup, it doesn't feel very snug or compressive, it's just a synthetic material, but around that tongue to make sure the lockdown and responsiveness is at optimal levels, we've got a very compressive feeling knit. Without doubt, one of the biggest giveaways about which brand actually made this model can be seen when looking at the lacing system. Now it looks very standard, when we look from about the laces midpoint downwards to the toe, it looks very normal. But looking at the top three portions, this is where a little clue is actually given away. Now although the laces still go through the Kayla the upper, it also goes through some exposed hoops. Now for any of you guys that know your football boots, there's another boot on the market right now which actually features some exposed lacing hoops. So if you know what boot that is, maybe you'll be able to tell which brand these are too. Flipping the boots over, this is where we can see this football boot brand have got something brand new for us again. Now what they're calling their sole plate is Hyper Stability. Now I really like that name. I think that flows with the tongue very nicely. Now what that actually means is it's gonna be very stiff in the midfoot and also in the heel for very, very responsive performances. But then around the toe box, it gets a little bit more flexible. So as a sole plate, I think this is actually quite a nice one. Moving on from the sole plate, let's get into the stud configuration. And once again, it's brand new. Now we've actually got three different types of stud on this sole plate. We've got some bladed studs on the heel, two different shapes, and then we get to the forefoot. Now we get some conical shaped studs. So that's the three. And the nice touch about these conical shaped studs are, there's some little cutouts in there just to give you a little bit more bite when changing direction. So over the past few seasons, football boot brands on the boot market are all about making their boots lightweight. Now, although these are a leather football boot, to me, they do feel incredibly lightweight. I think personally, these could be one of the lightest feeling elite level premium leather boots I have ever felt. So well done to whatever brand have actually done this. I think they've done a really good job. Now, one big factor why these boots might feel so lightweight is that they're not entirely leather from toe to heel. We've actually got a synthetic around the back of the boot, which is actually a knitting material. And as we all know, knitting material is much lighter compared to the Elite K leather. 
So you guys are loving the look of these blackout boots and you want a pair, but firstly, obviously you're gonna have to wait until they're released. But if you do want a pair of these, then you're gonna wanna know about the fit and sizing. Now, first up sizing, they're very true to size. So when these come out, definitely go with that actual true to size that you know. Secondly, what about the fit? Well, the great thing about these boots are they actually do accommodate for wide fit really well. As we all know, Tommy's got quite wide feet and he said these are actually really comfortable. Yes guys, so we get to the end of the video. Tommy's still doing keepy uppies. He didn't do it the whole way through. He just loves doing it so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video today as well. These boots are seriously top class. So although they aren't released yet, definitely come back in a couple of weeks time when you do know what they are to watch the review section again because these boots are seriously top quality. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. So we really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching as always. Oh, you... So that's a wrap for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you want to stay up to date with the Full Boots team, hit the subscribe button right there, and if you want to watch our most recent video, it is right there.